Okay, this is a uh, StockX. This is what I sell: bananas, S bands, Harachis, Jordans, whatever. This is just some shipments I got to send off today, tomorrow. So I'm making. I do a lot of volume sales, so I'm making around two, three, four hundred dollars Australian a day. You can make as much money as you want, basically. If you if you're willing to put the work in on StockX, the you know, sky's the limit. Natasha here, the housemaid. She's doing the uh, got a stock extra on there. Mud pours everywhere. Mud pours everywhere That's from the, the little cats. That's the deal. If we so what I've been selling. The Moabs are always a popular one. Uh, Harachis, you know, Harachis are really, really good. Uh, if you want to exact models to get, join my coaching group, doinglive.com, and I'll let you know where I get my shoes from. And this the, the deal with stock X is. Yeah, they have to be brand new, okay? They have to be brand new, unworn, you know, unworn, just absolute, you know, dead stock, okay? And the boxes have to be in immaculate condition as well. You can't have, you know, you've got to have perfect boxes, all right? So you got to make sure your boxes are legit tight, uh, different colorways, you know, Harachis again, the box has to be perfect, okay? You can't have, that's, ooh, that could be an issue. That might get rejected. Yeah, this, this one will probably get rejected, actually. All right, so the boxes, they'll be, that's, there's basically, I'll probably throw these in the bin, they're probably worthless. Um, but basically, just kidding, we'll put those in the local market. <laughs> the amount of stuff that gets thrown in bins, you know, it's, it's horrendous. We're actually getting, speaking of bins, where I get my boxes from, because I've been from the bins, all right? So people are paying for boxes when they're probably throwing boxes out. You know, it's crazy. Another colorway, Hirachi, uh, you know. So yeah, it's... Uh, you know, this is the deal there. So this box is fine, okay? So you gotta make sure your boxes are good. That's, that there's borderline, okay? That's borderline, okay? That's, it'll probably pass, you know, but if it got rejected, it wouldn't surprise me, okay? So when you pack your boxes, make sure you put them in a box and you wrap them tight. This box is maybe a little bit big, so what I do is I'll cut the corners in, and then compress it over, fold it over, okay? The box, you want to pack it right, and I don't use bubble wrap. Bubble wrap's more plastic, more expense. I just make my boxes tight, okay? And I use a packing gun with packing tape, and I can even use a, uh, a more eco tape, which I'll show you now. So that's the deal, all right? If you want the one-on-one -on -one coaching, you want me to step you, walk step by step with me, join my coaching group, doingrod.com. And uh, this is, and I don't even need the money. This is just a side hustle. I mean, I love sneakers. I've been in the sneaker game, buying and selling Nikes, since 1994, and uh, you know, what are we, 30 years later, I'm still doing it 30 years later. It's, it's fun for me, you know, like, it's fun for me. And you know, two, 300 bucks a day pocket money, if I'm willing to put the work in, you know, a bit of pocket money for a, a little bit of a hobby, but uh, you know, I don't know, that's just a fun thing to do. I'm, a, I'm an avid runner, you know, for many years, I like running, do competitions and stuff, but also like the footwear aspect. And if you do, so puss, these are a good shoe, man, the Hirachi, you know, they're actually, this is the Tinker Hatfield uh, reissue, and it has the V-grooves, flex grooves that are open, all right, so it makes this much a much nicer shoe to wear. It's also got the uh, thylon midsole, and it just, yeah, it's like a synthetic upper, and it just works really good. It's got the old international logo in there. Remember that one? You probably wouldn't if you, unless you're about age 40 something. But beautiful shoe again, these are second hand, so, you know, StockX would reject this, okay? But yeah, make sure you get the boxes that are legit. Otherwise, you know, you might not pass the uh, StockX stuff. It has to be like brand new. As soon as the box has got a rip in it, it really is. You know, that's uh, that's questionable. You know, that's, that's questionable, that one. But there you go. And the box also has to be the same size as the shoe, right? If you've got a 12 Harach, it's going to be a 12 box. It can't be like a size 10, okay? Got any questions? Join my coaching group, cash up, man. If you don't have as much money in the bank as you want, it's because you're, you're not doing the right things, man. All right? You're not doing the right things. Simple as that. All right? These cats are free, even. Feral pussies. Hey, baby face. A beautiful little pussy cat. You know? This is, people say, how do you afford a $9,000 camera? I don't need a $9,000 camera, but, you know, just doing this stuff, that's what pays for it. And so what I meant before about cutting the boxes is, so that's a quite deep box. Boom. and that's how you make it tight, all right? So we're making the, the box shorter, and we're just basically getting some good quality cardboard scissors or a box cutter, and you just 
trim it down the side. So what we'll do is here is we'll trim it from the bottom up and from the bottom up as well. Okay, and then you just fold it in and you've got a great tight box. Everyone loves a tight box and it just ships a lot better. Okay. Then, well, that boo-boo puss is a bush puss. A bush cat. Hey, wish I had those little paws. Bush cat bus. Hey, boo-boo. Hey, a little well-fed cat. Another thing as well is I find it's helpful to keep shoes in size order so then you know what you got, what has to be sent that day, etc. So it's good to have it in the orders. If you get spans, they sell really well. This is my e-bike, electric bike, no petrol, a couple of cents of electricity, or I can just ride my normal bike, it's fine. But I just want to show you what the deal is. And uh, yeah, so put the got four four shoes here. We've got a pannier on that side, one box, two shoe. One shoe, so four shoes in total. You sort of see the back there, that's the setup, okay? And by using the bicycle, pretty much zero cost. Uh, this bike, we use all the second hand parts and that, and the battery in here, you can sort of see it looks all dodgy, but it's like, you know, just keeps it less chance of getting stolen. This bike's been a tried and tested as a giant tough road with a Bafung kit bolted on there. Goes really good, but yeah, I mean, you know, like, no registration, no license, no speeding fines, no worries of the cops and stuff, like, Police in Australia, as long as you're riding smart and don't, not being a douche, you know, then they just leave you alone pretty much. So it's really good. It's just, you know, the, the traffic where the depot is is very, you know, for Adelaide standards quite thick. So the bicycles, it's, the depot is about 10, 11 kilometers from my house, and the bicycles are the fastest way to get there, put it that way. So, you know, and it costs me zero, and I get a little bit of fitness and stuff like that. I can do some high cadence drills, you know, I can turn the motor down, just do some like 150 RPM cadence drills, which is good for my legs. And an e-bike, I don't burn too many calories, so you know, it doesn't, doesn't mean I uh, get too lean, you know, because on my nutrition program, I, I, can, I get too lean too easy, so e-bike helps me conserve calories. There we go, there we go, baby. This is how we do it. So four pairs of shoes, we can stack it up even more. But I generally, I generally go to the depot once a day, just to deliver, or tw today, today's twice. I went there this morning, and now I'm gonna go here in the afternoon. So we did five pairs this morning and now we're doing four pairs. So what's that, nine pairs total. So that's $450 Australian. Between $450 and $500 Australian in my, in my pocket, in my pocket. Boxes come from the bin, you know, so recycling, that's another cost saving. Transport getting there is cost saving. You know, just, there's ways to cut costs and help the environment. End of the day, I'm like, what's more environmental? You know, if I can do that, then let's go with that.